The tipping point. Yep. City. It's our country has its eyes on him. Lucky for us, dealing with pressure is what he does best, even if some of his techniques are known to be a little unorthodox. Wait, so he is behind? I'm truly sorry for the delay, ladies and gentlemen, but as an elected official of this city, my priority is and always has been ridding our streets of criminals, even if that means I'm late sometimes. And currently, the reason that we are all gathered here today, as you well know, is that our streets have been overrun by scumbags. You mean blacks? With scumbags. Black order. My apologies. We need to establish a position of force and unanimity together. And as one, as the great city of New York, I believe that we can show the world what it is to live in a peaceful and safe society. That all of us, I am not looking at one woman today. I don't see one man in front of me that's going home to their family. I see a family of New Yorkers that is growing. We will not let the black order establish a position of fear in our hearts. We will not take them home with us. Our children should be able to walk the streets freely with no fear. You should be able to go to work in the morning, have your coffee, go to the store, knowing that you are safe, that your family's safe, and that you have a place to come home to. Certain information has been privy to me and brought to my attention by my colleagues. We are currently under attack by an organization which is known as the Black Order. This organization is hunting our law enforcement. It has made it unsafe for you to leave your houses, to go home, to do anything that you used to do, to have a normal life. And before we go any further today, I would like to give a special and heartfelt thanks to my colleagues, Josh and Sarah, and one of the finest, most honest and true NYPD officer that I have ever had the honor of working with in the last 25 years of my professional career, Mr. Chris McLaren. <laughs> and in response to the questions that have been asked to me, we are launching the Peace Abroad Initiative immediately. It is mandatory that they stop and search all African American men and women between the ages of 20 and 30 years old. No, 100% of the attacks and deaths in our city to date have been committed by African American men and women between the ages of 20 and 30. No,
this discriminates against any person of color living within the city? Absolutely not, ma'am. What about the issues that started this all? The fact that the cops in the city abuse their powers, targeting and shooting blacks, shooting kids as young as six years old. It's because of that the black order was born. Our police are acting in your best interest to ensure that you can come here today to ask me that question. Are you doing what exactly? No actions have been taken. No actions as brutal as a piece of broth. Isn't it because of this issue that we have such a dangerous group out there? Didn't you actually create this group? If this matter was resolved when it first started, we wouldn't have seen the rise of the black order. We will not spend another day of our lives living in fear. Down military NYPD units, call me to SWAT. Call me to SWAT, damn it! None of those stumps, none of them, none of them are getting out of here. Those bastards came at me, and I'll show them what true justice really is! There is hostages. They took a hostage and request your appearance, or she's gonna be executed. Miss Jefferson. That journalist? Yes. Shoot. Excuse Shoot me, him, sir. Shoot him wrong. They're not getting out alive. I don't think this. Josh! They came at me! They came at me! The line was crossed today. And I'm sending you a message. If you're coming at me, there will be blood spilt on the other side. We are at war! Get your prototype ready, ASAP! Peace abroad, peace abroad, launch it now! NYPD has full power to act as they feel necessary and no agents will be punished. None, none will be punished for any of their actions. I'm going to show them with this city, its police, and its mayor are made of. Crazy day, huh, sir? You can say that again, Sergeant. It's not easy doing what we do. I'm a, I'm a hero for this city, and people tend to forget that. Well, they may forget it, but you keep them safe, and that's what matters. Right, right, anyway. Anyway, what about you? How are you? How's Grace? Uh, Grace is good. She's here with me today, actually. We were supposed to have dinner tonight. Glad, glad to hear it, really. Yeah. Um, sir, if you don't mind me asking, do you worry at all that the Peace Abroad Initiative might be a little too extreme? You're leaving me no choice! It's the end that justifies the means. You missed a spot. Everything okay? Yes, sir. The hell do you 
think this is? A playground? I'm sorry, sir. I did not mean- Shut up! Shut up! Sir. You people always find a way to make everything you touch even worse! You are a piece of shit. You'll never be good at anything you do with it, except me. Just maybe mopping these floors. And your brothers out there, Black Order, you'll wind up in some shithole locked up just like them. So get back to doing what you do best. Clean these. I don't tolerate intolerance when I see it. I don't care if you are the mayor of New York City. You are going to apologize to that boy. Everybody back to work. Those are the criminals. Those are the criminals we need out. We need to clean these streets. Chris McLaren, in my office, now. Sorry? Sorry? Do you have any idea of what it is to be treated like that when you're a good man? I saw a man who treated me like I was the worst criminal ever. Well, why didn't you say that stuff up there? Listen, I don't really know what you think you did up there, but I don't really care. I'm a grown man. Well, then why didn't you defend yourself? Though? What do you want me to do? To give them a reason? So they can lock me in? That's what you're looking for. Why? Why what? Up there. I didn't do it for you. I don't stand for injustice and intolerance. Thank you. Daughter, one of the best cops in the city. Guess it's in the jeans. Wow, your, your dad is a cop. And I should definitely stay away from you. I gotta go. I lost my job. I'm gonna go look for... Are you looking for a number? Like a lot of numbers? <laughs> I don't know. Do a lot of numbers have 10 digits? 347. One second, one second, one second. One second. Three, four, seven, six, eight, one. So next time you can just say, can I have your number? Jake.
Who's that in the frame? My daughter. No. Three. Imagine. Without any bad luck, she walks out of a school in a cute little new dress. Boom! Dead. Hub comes out of nowhere and shoots her in the head. I'm not following you, Paul. That's exactly what will happen if you don't get it right. They're out there, acting above the law. It's only a matter of time. This is her fate with the Black Order. Everyone's! To everyone with nothing you've done! Our city. It's, a, it's our city. Our city is under attack, and I'm tired of waiting. No, no. So listen carefully. And listen good. We are doing our best. Are you kidding me? You came for an update? Here it is. Foster, you know what? You use pretty unorthodox manners to get what you want. But my office is not a playground for one of them. When I came to you last year with what we're building, you said no. Now we're the only ones who are able to bring your vision to life. So I demand a minimum of respect in these walls. Now, now I see why oh, I need to talk to her. I'm here to get some answers. <laughs> That's what he looks like when you find him. Roosevelt, during winter, frozen. Our team did its best to bring his temperature back. His body refused. What's, it What's his name? The Mirror of Death. I mean, technically I left. No, 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 no. You leaving a job, <laughs> you got to be kidding me. I wish I was, man. I still wonder, like, how do you even keep paying rent? I mean, how do you do it? You see, uh, you call that the miles way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Foster, man, he humiliated me today. I mean, he treated me like crap. I see. Um, that piece of crap. He was all over the news today. Luckily, the Black Order exists. Not this again, man. What? We can't trust the police. We, people like us, that's why the people police is here. The people police, they keep killing innocent, hardworking police officers, man. Innocence. You keep having your butt stuck in your ears, brother. So let me slap it back into reality. Don't you see what they're doing to us, to our people? To kids? The only thing I see is someone who supports criminals. My man, we both know who the criminals are. Forget it, man. Forget it. Drink, man. Just relax. All right? Just smell the roses and breathe in those amazing times that we're living in. Oh, yo, you got to check out Boma. She's going live in 20 minutes. I'm good. What? I say I'm good, man. What? Gucci she like chewy. <laughs> oh, man. There's also something else I want to tell you. No way. What else did this imbecile have just say to you? I have a date, man. <laughs> Forget it, man. Bro, oh wait. I mean, are you serious? Since I've known you, you've been on what? You never even got one girl? Man, you make any worse. Forget don't, it. Don't be mad, man. I'm joking. <laughs>
Listen, Grace, when I was a kid, my dad used to beat me and my mother non-stop. So I grew up with enough violence. People's police queen Imani herself. Who is this? The second in black order. A man is the leader. You got to be kidding me. What but what is she doing here? Someone is actually sitting in that Do chair. Do you believe in faith? You know what, I think Faith has a way of sneaking up on us at any moment. It's up to us to seize it. You know what, Faith is about to get her butt out of that chair. Join us. Join the Black Order. You're a criminal organization? You know what, I'm good. If there was any cops around here, I would have gone to them and report you. You would have gone to them and got shot. Oh this again. You guys are a bunch of criminals, you understand? Who use the situation to create crimes. Young soldier, don't you realize that they are killing our people? Our children? That's because you guys keep attacking them. Does that justify killing a six-year-old? How is a six-year-old a threat? Listen, the police, they're here for our safety. They're here to protect us from people like you. You mean like you? This city needed a hero. Someone needed to step up, and that's why we did. That's why the Black Order exists. Don't you want to do something to how Foster humiliated you the other day? How do you know about that? Is everything okay? Yes, Miss Imani was on her way out. Here's a number to call in case you change your mind. Perfect. Now I know which number to call now to get your pretty face behind bars for all the crimes you committed. Who is this? Apparently one of the leaders of the Black Order. I see why you like cops so much. Dating the daughter of one of the best officers out there. <laughs> Excuse me, but my father is a hero who puts his life on the line every day to save lives, contrary to you, who just takes them. I just wonder how she knew about me. How? How? You know what? You need some fresh air. Let's go somewhere else. Make me work, make me sweat inside. Make me feel like I'm alive. Thank you for today. I've never had so much fun in one day. Same here. Now it feels good to just escape the city's craziness, you know? Wow. So now I'm just an escape. Oh, <laughs> I see. That's, that's, that, that's, that's not what I meant, Grace. It's not what I meant. Grace, you're more to me than that. Well, what am I to you? Grace. There's something I want to tell you. Tell me. Good night. I wanted to tell you good night. Good night. Grace. Good night. little lady. Got any man in your life? 
Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> really? When am I going to meet this guy? I'm sure you'll love him. to welcome you to Hong Kong, Mayor Foster. I hate traveling. This better be worth my time. Foster, it is worth the money you're paying. Founds in Mount Lao several months ago. It's wait, wait stop. Taxes. Just stop. Why couldn't we just make it in New York? I had to travel all the way to China for this? You definitely don't understand the power of what you're buying. So fix any problem you might have. You know exactly what I'm exterminating. Just don't smash another kid photo frame for your circus of proven points once we get in there. Do you have a problem with the way I'm running my city? Many are starting to think you're losing your mind. Do you, Josh? We are private contractors. You pay us and we deliver. Opinions are not part of our vocabulary. Then keep your dirty tongue in your goddamn mouth and deliver me what I ordered. That's just strange. And now. Get in. Surprised, right? I speak a little Chinese. It helps when the time comes. Now show me what the hell I came all the way to New York. We're here. Sorry, Mize, I'm late. Well, I'm late? The party's over. Man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be late, especially on your birthday. Shut but... up. How was it? The date? It was pretty good. Oh, I'm proud of you, my brother. You deserve it. But did you smash? That's why you're late. I see. Mm. Of course not, man. I'm not like you. Oh, you're lacking experience, my boy. Yo, if I had a chance to take Balma out, she would have seen the Anaconda dancing countless times. You know what I mean? Man, thank you. Three years of amazing friendship. Thanks for being with me during those crazy times. Bro, oh, of course. Remember, when we get older, each one of us gets a house near the other, and... I name my son Miles. And I'll name my son Jake. My guy. <laughs> well, well, looky here. What a coincidence. Gosh, the po-po-po. Shut up. You didn't learn your lesson, did you? Remember me? I ain't scared of you, homie. You think you can do whatever you want, you preak? Whoa! Did you just attack me? I, I think you did. Now, anything I do is self-defense. See this badge here? We're the only citizens who can shoot who we want, how we want. Homie, so lower your damn voice. Peace of. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. The dragon comes out. What a day. I, I mean, what a night. A dragon, young man, you are, yes, but not yet. You can control fire, but that is the second level you will have to master. Come, we don't have much time. The eclipse is forming. A team of extraordinary individuals is being formed, and you are one of them, dragon. A new hero is rising. God's favorite weapon. Only an animal can bring. He's gone. Oh well. At last. I think you used that phrase a little too much. At last? Shouldn't we go after him? At last, matter the word isn't. When the young dragon is ready, he will come to us. Come on, Foxy, let's go. Kitty is waiting for us. I love Kitty. <laughs> 
It's me, it's me, it's me. Jake, what happened? Calm They're down. Cold. What happened to you? You're covered in. Jake, what happened to you? This isn't the worst thing that happened tonight. This is insane. I know. I'm sorry for your loss. He was my best friend. He was the only person in the city that I could count and trust. Now, now I have no one. I'm right here. Don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. There was nothing you could It's Foster. He will pay. He will pay for Miles' death. Matter of fact, he's going to pay for all the other death. Everyone who lost their lives, loved once, due to his cruel leadership and unfair police brutality. Imani was right. No, she wasn't. You can't. That's, what, that's what she wants you to think. You can't understand. The pain that I'm going through right now, nobody can understand. That's how I felt in that restaurant when she came to see me. People ignore this issue, you know why? Because they cannot feel that pain, that unfair burning fire inside of you. So now you're going to become one of them. Killing people, killing innocent cops? Killing my dad. Grace, how can you think? One second. I thought you were a good person. I am a good person. Then prove it. One bad apple in the basket and all of a sudden you think you need to throw the whole basket out? No. The one bad apple in a basket and the whole basket goes bad. That's why we need to eliminate the bad apple. Foster. I have nothing to lose. Long time. Families cried for help. Brothers and sisters, they cried for a hero, for someone that can come and make a change, someone that has the power to do something. Let that be me. Jake, listen to what you're saying. You're going to go up against the mayor of New York City. Grace, I appreciate your worries, but he took everything. He took the most important thing in my life after my mother, there is no going back from here. Where do we start? What? You're going up against one of the most powerful men in New York City. You're going to need help. Oh, no, Grace. This, this isn't your fight. You- I'm white? Jake, this isn't a black versus white fight. That psychopath is running our city. I've always looked for an opportunity to fix things, to do what's right, and this is it. This is my opportunity. So let me ask you again. Where do we start? We are joining the Black Order. I don't think this is a good idea. I'm white. <laughs> No kidding, really? I thought this isn't a black versus white fight. It's about justice. It's in no way joining a bunch of criminals. Grace, we are not joining the Black Order. We are only collaborating with them. They fought Foster's for so long, they have enough information on him. Trust me. I think this is the address that she gave me. Oh, wait. Sir, we are looking for... Um, sir, we are here for um, the... Um... Yo, speak clearly, because I can't understand what the hell you're saying. We're here for the group. The, um, the group? The group? What does this look like a boy band to you? Looking for a group? To join a group? Look, listen. I don't got time for this, all right? I'm kind of busy right now. Keep it. Come in. Watch your manners, okay? You talking to me right now? I 
I can do this. Well, nice. Welcome upstairs. My feast just showed his gentlemen some manners. I see that you believe in faith. I knew that you would join us. And what is she doing here? She stays. No, this group is only made up of brothers and sisters. I say she stays. I won't say twice. My dad is a cop. I have some intel that could be helpful. And how do I know this isn't a trap? Yesterday, 11.43 p.m., I saw my, my best friend being killed by NYPD officers. I saw him losing his life in front of me. He died in front of me, so I don't care, okay? I don't care if this is a trap. All I want is Foster. So sorry we lost another brother. Uh, I'm sorry for your loss. That's enough. I thought that cops were here for our safety. Listen, I'm not here for a debate. Then why won't you admit that cops are the only legal gang out there killing innocent people? We are not going to destroy the entire basket. What we're going to do is get rid of the bad apples that contaminates all the others. I'm confused. You're not the only one. What are you talking about? You want me on board? I'm in. I am joining the Black Order. Two conditions. One, she stays. She's in. Two, no more killing NYPD officers. And why would we do that? Come closer. You never had a soldier like me before. With me, the Black Order is going to a whole new level. Okay. But what are you? Call me Dragon. Okay. Let's get this monster. We have reason to believe that Foster's up to something. We just don't know exactly what. Luckily, his peace order program has been rejected. So Foster flew to Hong Kong yesterday, and we have reason to believe that he went there to get intel on a way to eliminate all of us. All of us? African Americans. Whatever he finds, he's going to bring to some mysterious dinner party tomorrow night. The George Freeman dinner? What? The annual NYPD dinner. And how do you know that? My dad's going. Then how are we going to... You and I are going to go to the dinner. But what about your father? Time for him to meet and accept the man that's in my life, regardless of skin color. And it's time for me to stand up for what I believe in, and that's this. I am going to introduce you to my father and everyone as my boyfriend. Perfect. You two can go get the rest of the information that we need. Well, in this case, it's time to suit up. Bounce it, just bounce it. Everybody wanna come, I'm announcing it. I'm always gonna get it, I'm always gonna get it. Even if you sit back denouncing it. But I'm a good kid, I rock gold, I'm never gonna sleep with ya. This is the first time I'm gonna see him since the immigration. Jake, I know you're emotional right now, but please try to control yourself. I'll be fine. Remember, we're here to find out what Foster is planning. I'm a Foster. And I'm gonna make him pay for what he did to my house. After we find out what he's planning. You know, Miles used to always tell me to go against Foster. Always. Take a stand. Do something. I never did. If I did, you'll be alive right now. People always go beyond when things
things get extreme. Sometimes it's too late. <coughs> Are you guys gonna kiss or what? Or is she friend zoning you? Oh, friend zone. <laughs> It's not like, wait, what? Excuse, it's not like this. I know, I couldn't. Well, you seem to be doing okay from the last time I friend zoned, did you? <laughs> it's not what you think. Oh, brother, listen, you need to man up, man. Because trust me, she is not going to be single for a while. Okay, to the Black Order. <laughs> What a beautiful night. Two for five. Two for five. Yo, it's not even like that, my man. Yo, he just got friend zone. Can you stop with this? It's all right, man. You're probably just not a type. I'll take off your hands for you. You, you put a finger on her, and you get all your fingers squeezed and cut in your butt. Tough. Tough guy, huh? It's all right. I'll have her one day. Yo, how you signing two for five when you only got one? What's up with you, man? <laughs> Good to see you, sir. Agent McLaren, the best of the best. Thanks for everything you've done for this city. We need more heroes like you. Well, thank you, sir. 100%, man. Look, um, uh, where's Grace? Isn't she joining us tonight? Uh, she is. She's running late. She's bringing her new boyfriend. <sighs> what news? What news? I can't, I can't wait to meet the man who stole the heart of my number one cop's daughter. <laughs> he he must, yeah, he must be one hell of an individual. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Should we go in? Yeah, let's please, let's please. I have a huge announcement to make tonight. We're, we're cleaning this city once and for all. Who's that picture on your desk? You always have the frame turned away. The flower before it becomes a rose. So when are we meeting that secret boyfriend? Here she is. Grace, what is this? Dad? What? What are you doing? I'd like to introduce you to my boyfriend. Is this some kind of joke? Because it isn't funny. Dad, I'd really like to introduce you to my boyfriend. Grace, what is going on here? This dog has no place here. If he has no place here, then I have no place here. I love him, and I want you to accept him. Look, I don't know what you did to my daughter. It's okay, Chris. Let him in. Have we met before? Your face looks familiar. Of course we did. No, I, I don't recall. I, don't, I only remember people that matter. Now, why, do, why do I feel such anger? Why do I feel death? No. Now, how are the blacks doing, by the way, mister? Being killed by psychopaths. Dressed as cops. One species will never be equal. Never be equal. History has shown us time and time again. Why one species has the, the privilege to decide the fate of the other? No, Tell me! No one, no one does. No. It's the inferior species. And they decide by their actions. Because actions speak louder than words, louder than looks, and louder than ways. Actions speak louder than guns, <laughs> badges. Families are crying right now. You know what? We have something that you would never have. No, it's brotherhood. You think you people know something about brotherhood? You know nothing. I would die for any of the people in this room. And it has nothing to do with guns or death. Dude, stop disrespecting my boyfriend. Disrespecting? You disrespect me by bringing him here. On tonight, of all nights, your mother is still alive. She would be ashamed of the man who's sitting in front of me. Oh, shut up, Grace. You don't know what you're talking about. Your mother would never approve of a thug like this. Thug? Why do you keep calling him a thug? You don't even know him. How are you going to judge him just based on the color of his skin? Jesus. 
We should eliminate him. <laughs> you can't just talk about my boyfriend that way. Sit down, Grace. You're embarrassing yourself. So? Miles! <laughs> Speak up. Speak up, kid. I, I think, I think I remember where I know you from. Miles Brown! And who's that? A man who crossed the path of death and your cruel leadership. My leadership is cleaning the streets of this city. I'm a savior. I am the savior that these people want. I'm the savior that this city wants and needs. They ask for me. Thanks. 22 years old. No, I know. He loved playing basketball. <laughs> You hear me? He loves playing uh, basketball. Do you hear me? I don't. I, I hear you just fine. I don't know who that Miles is, but trust me. Trust me. If God or Jesus or anyone, anyone wants to come down and give him a second chance, I'd be the first in line, my gun to fire round after round, one by one, into his head. Until he's vanished. Until <laughs> he's gone. Gone from this planet. <laughs> you crossed the line. You made a dragon has mercy on you. Yeah. Is that the type of individual that you want walking the streets of our beloved city? Who knows? Who knows what they're capable of? What they'll do to your wives, your children, your neighbors. They're uncivilized. They're not like us. One small problem. One. And they flip like a monster. I let this monster, I let him into our dinner tonight so you could witness with your own eyes exactly how inhumane and inhuman these people really are. Now what I'm about to reveal to you tonight may sound brutal. But sometimes, the hero has to make some tough choices. And peace abroad is rejected. So we're taking matters into our own hands. And ladies and gentlemen, from now on, from this day forward, our city's borders are closed. And no African Americans, none, will be entering or leaving its walls. And you, you may ask me why, or what, what we're gonna do with the ones that are inside already. We are going to hunt them down like the animals they are. We're going to eliminate them one by one. And how? <laughs> I have a very powerful tool that I brought back from Hong Kong. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to... The hell was that? They fought you. They really did. <laughs> Welcome to my, what do you call it? My home, my new home. Do you like it? What happened to him? Ah, justice. The black justice happened to me. Now let me call the police. Oh, wait. <laughs> you are the police. The people police, right? 
We're gonna pay for everything you pick. Time to feel justice. <laughs> more, more, more. Give me some cream cheese and jelly on that. <laughs> Is that all you've got? Well, justice has arrived, you prick. Now it's time to feel some pain. You wanted me here. I am here. Now tell me what you're planning. Oh, excuse me. Forgive me. Forgive me. I must have forgot. I must have forgot. Yeah. Yeah, like the heroes arrived. Jake. Jake, right? Dragon. <laughs> I love it! You and all your friends and all the blacks will soon be gone for good. Lucky for us, the bad apple is out of the basket. Are you that naive? You just put it in the basket. What? You people are a bunch of stupid thugs. Generalizing because of the action of few. A few? Well, I'm burning the basket. <laughs> How? Oh, it's that easy. Tell us how. How rude, how rude. I wasn't done. You people act like criminals. We, we stop you and instead of cooperating. You show us your bad attitudes. Leaving me no choice but to bring out the guns. The guns? On a six years old? You have no right. From the beginning, from the beginning, there have always been people on top and people on the bottom called minorities. I'm just unlucky on the wrong side. Now you look at me, you look at us like we're evil. Now if you were in our position, you'd behave even worse. I didn't come here to hear nonsense. Tell me what you're planning! I'm planning to kill you. Your sister, your people, your mom. How dare you talk about my mom? How dare you talk about my mom? How dare you? <laughs> You're gonna taste my punch, okay? You took my daughter from me. What? I see her every day. I have a picture of her on my desk to remind me and fuel me and remind me of who you people really are. You people, yes, you, you are a virus in this city. And did she ask for this? She was only six years old when a thug came out of nowhere. She was minding her own business and wasn't hurting anyone. He came out of nowhere to rob us. An African-American thug. I saw into the eyes of a monster that day. The day my daughter died in my arms. He made me watch Patricia die in my hands, my own two hands, her blood, so much blood. <laughs> Since that day, I swore I'd make each and every one of you pay dearly for her death. You are a bunch of heartless animals. And now, now it's time for you to die. You want to know why I went to China? buy something, to buy something to get rid of the black order for good. And yes, being captured by you was all part of the plan. What is he talking about? I'm dragging you. You were the only thing missing when the massacre started. And now that you're here, the guest list is full. She's trying to mess with our minds. Just ask me, just ask me, just ask me the name of the prototype. Ask me. What is the name? The mirror of death. What's going on? What is this? What's this? It's not me, it. it's a bee. He's already here. Most of your friends are already dead. Are too weak, far too weak. You'll never now, win. Now, now, let me show you some real punches. We need to go. 
Listen, we need to go. He's more powerful no, 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 no. than he's more powerful than we. We need to go. We need to go. You'll never win. The Black Order will lift off forever. The no, no, no. Black Order is already dead, and the rest of your kind is next. Finish him. Grace, we need to talk. Dad. Sit down. Do you have any idea what you did to me last night? Do you even care? You know who I am, and what I represent to this city. Dad, I didn't mean to hurt you. I just wanted to introduce you to the man I love. <laughs> the man you love? A violent criminal? He's not a criminal. Are you blind? You saw what he did last night, and the mayor is missing now. Good. The real criminal is gone. Grace, God, do you even hear yourself? You've lost your mind. I've worked my entire career to provide for you, to do what's right, to do what's right for this city. And they call me the best cop in the city because of it. That means something to me. And in one night, you've destroyed that. You've destroyed all of it. I'm the one who's responsible for the mayor going missing now. Because my daughter brought his abductor right up to the table that he was sitting at. Dad, I didn't mean to hurt you. I love you, you know that, and I keep asking myself why you work for a man like that. I work for justice, Grace. I work for what's right. Foster is a monster. He's an evil dictator who discriminates against black citizens like my boyfriend. Oh, don't, don't call him that. I will never accept that criminal as part of the family. Do you understand me? You need to choose him or me. I love him like I've never loved anybody before. If mom were alive, she'd be ashamed of the man you are. Don't you, you dare are. bring your mother into this. She wouldn't recognize you. All right, that's enough. Listen to me. You are not to see him anymore. As long as you're my daughter. I'm not your daughter anymore. Grace. It's amazing, simply amazing. It, it, dare I say, extraordinary. The mirror of death goes way beyond anything even I expected. So you have the prototype? Yes, yes. And the first, its first mission went flawlessly. How did you get it to come to you? You, you, pro, you programmed it. Listen to my voice. It would have been uh, nice, nice of you to share that with me, by the way. <laughs> Sorry. But, but no, but, but there's more. There's more. Wait. He only listens to my voice, and as soon as I say his name, he shows up. He doesn't show that. He exceeded our expectations. Oh, God, I don't know. Uh, look, look, we're going to eliminate the Black Order for good, and, and he will eliminate every living African-American soul in this city for us. Jess, I need my files ready by tonight. And congrats, 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 you guys. 
give yourselves a pat on the back. It's been an absolute pleasure doing business with you, both of you. Sir, my God, you're Chris safe. Chris McLaren, just the man I wanted to see. I'm, I'm so sorry. What are you so Why are you sorry? It's because of you that we're able to get to the heart of the Black Order. I don't understand. Chris, you're a hero for this city. But there's just, there's one more thing that I need you to do. Anything. Just tell me what Your it is. Your daughter. Your daughter. She's, she's dating that guy, Jake, calls himself Dragon. I need, I need you to bring her to me. I don't follow, sir. I, I hope you don't have a problem with it, Chris. There comes a time in every man's life where he needs to make sacrifices. Now is your time, our time, now. Is your time. We need Dragon locked up or dead behind bars. And your daughter, she, she's the only link that we have to him. So bring her in for justice. But there has to be a different way. Now don't question me. Those are your orders. You have until midnight tonight. Bring her in. Will do, sir. We're at war, Chris. We are at war, and my daughter is the only reason that we've been able to get this far. To end them all, to end all of this. Sacrifice. Sacrifices occur, big sacrifices occur in any victory, Chris. And of all people, of all people, I understand your pain. This needs to happen. It must happen. It must be done. And may your daughter, may she be the last sacrifice that we make. change to migration from one soul from one place to another Chinese saying you know Chinese used to believe back in the days in life after death they used to bury their citizens with their belongings believing that those belongings were coming with them Miles is looking at me right now I can feel it I can see him, but I can feel it. Probably playing basketball somewhere in the sky with his stupid face looking at me. I know how you're feeling. But they're all gone. They're all gone to a better world. They're all looking at you and I right now. And I can guarantee you, they don't want to see their queen in tears. I don't understand. We've been through everything together. I've known most of them since I was a kid. Especially Idrissa. We started this organization because we believe we could stop the injustice in our streets. Because the police wouldn't do it. gone and I don't have anybody listen Imani you told me that once and I'm gonna tell you that this time this is my turn to tell you that we are family we are here I am here Imani I'm very sorry for your loss I am 
from now on, consider me your brother. If you need anything, I have your back for the rest of my life. going to rebuild the black order, you and I together. Together? Together. Grace. 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 What are you doing? You're getting out of my house. Please listen to me. to me. I love you. No, Please, no. Please don't use me, Grace. No, you're just using me like everybody else does. I, I trusted you. I thought that you were different. I am different, Grace. I am different. I love you, Grace. I never loved someone like you before. You made me the man I am no, right go now. Go play with somebody else's feelings and break someone else's heart. Like, Mr. Imani. Grace, you don't stress me, Grace. I you. You, you don't touch me! You son of a bitch. You stay away from my daughter! Dad! Tell you, you ever touch her again, I will kill you! I'm bring you to Boston myself. Sir, I'm gonna come with you. <laughs> oh! Sir, the list of African-American newborns is on its way. It's perfect. We will strike at birth and eliminate every new African-American born today. The bleeding needs to stop at its roots. Yeah, any, um, any news on McLaren? Nothing, sir. We tried calling him like you asked. Going over there. I'm a cop. Put your hands on your back. Put your hands on your what? back. Don't move. You're a cop? Don't move. You're a cop? I'm a cop. I'm a cop. <laughs> My name is Dragon Foster. I know you're watching. I know you're watching this. You have one hour to show up at Christie and Canal. Oh, they will be police blood on the ground. You took everything away from me? I'm not gonna hesitate. You have one hour. Make your daughter proud. Come find me. And by the way, bring the prototype. Sir, it's gone viral. It was just posted a few minutes ago. You look at that. My dear dragon's making things easier for us. <laughs> Mirror of They say you can ship yourself anywhere. You shipped yourself from China to New York once? Send me a legation. <laughs> can Alan Christie? Oh.
Hey, kid. I have powers, too. I mean, my prototype. The mirror of death. Miles. Have... <laughs> Miles, 22 years old. 22 years old! What? For who? You love playing basketball. Doesn't ring a bell. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to. Kill him. Go ahead. Do it already. You asked for it. Go He's ahead. dead. Do it. Kill him. What a good, good man you are. Let me ask you something. Have you... Have you ever killed anyone before? We both know the answer to that. Because of people like you that my daughter is dead. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Wait. I want you to witness the end. And you will, you will suffer. Watching the city's blacks fall one by one. so good to be here. Bastard failed me. I won't. Your wishes are my mission. You're amazing. You have the ability to go anywhere you want in a matter of seconds. So as soon as Jess arrives with the full list of African-American newborns, I want you to go to each and every one of them and slit their throats. Stop. You've been acting weird. Where are we going? I want you to know, whatever happens tonight, Grace, I've always loved you. I know. Where are we going? You're right. Your mother would be ashamed of me. Dad, I didn't mean that when I said it. All my life, I thought I was serving justice. I thought I was born to be a protector of the people. What the hell? Who is this? Who the hell are you? In 
Imani? I need to talk to you. Wait, you know her? She was the leader of the Black Order. Wait, what? Get away from her. I, I, I'm not coming here to hurt anybody. I just need to tell you something. How did you find us? I put a tracking device on you and Jake when you first uh, came. Grace, Jake loves you. What are you doing? I saw you two kissing. Yeah, but I, I kissed him. Look, I, I was jealous, Grace. Why but should I believe you? Why would I come here and lie to you? He's only loved you, Grace. Only you. Jake. Shoot me. What? What? It's the only way, Grace. I, I, I can't take you to them. I'm under orders to bring you to Foster. Dad, is that where we're going? This is your chance. This is your big shot, Black Order lady. You can shoot, shoot me. Shoot, shoot, shoot me in the leg. And, and what, what we'll say that I was ambushed. And that, that's why I couldn't bring you to Foster. It's, it, it's the only way to keep you safe, Grace. Dad, no. You have to stand up to Foster. And let him know that he can't come between you and your family. No, no, no. It, it, it's, it's not that simple, Grace. OK? I serve justice. I have to do what's right. Is justice more important than your family? Is that how mom died? We were driving. We were running late to a wedding. And I saw this car and I recognized the plates. It was wanted and I took off after your mom. Stop, but I couldn't do it. It got out of control. He knew we were following him, and I ended up driving him off of a cliff. It was, it was all my fault. I know. What? I did my research a long time ago. Dad, I love you. Don't make that mistake twice. What would mom want? They have Jake. Oh my God. Okay. Let's go. I can't lose you the way I lost your mother. Get in the car. We're gonna save your boyfriend. Get in the car! Okay, you don't have to yell. What? No. Dad? I love you. I love you too, Chris. It's McLaren. I need to know where the criminal codename Jake has been traced. No? What about Dragon? What's going on here? What are you doing here? We're here to save you, son. Grace, Jake, I can't explain, Jake, I swear. Jake, Bonnie told me everything. Jake, I love you. I'm so sorry. Grace, I love you. I never love, I will love you forever. All right, we need to get you out of here. Everybody, stay here and I'm gonna go clear the way. Bonnie, thank you for finding me. Faith must have sent you. That's my name. What do you mean? Imani means Faith in Swahili. Foster. Mm -hmm. I had to stop him. He's playing something big. I can't. He's playing something horrible. I need to stop Foster. It's only a matter of time. any of your powers. I control you and I will finish you. I know I have the powers I gotta use. I gotta find a way.
can use my powers. Oh wait, I can use it. Wait, I got it. boyfriend is keeping my prototype busy. Maybe I should keep you busy. You're a monster. A monster? Maybe. Maybe not. What's a monster if not just someone's perspective in their mind? A perception of someone that's unable to accept the actions of another a feeling in your heart that what you've just seen is wrong or maybe just not in your moral code. <laughs> no, a monster is just somebody's point of view. You're a monster to me for dating this monster. <laughs> Jake is going to stop you. Oh, no, really, really, really. Will he stop me from doing this? Your boyfriend has caused enough trouble to my well-being and the well-being of this city. Things look even between me and him now, don't you think? Let us say that I have the upper hand. The prototype may be busy for a while. We're moving to plan B. I'm moving <laughs> to location made up. you are barging into my office like that doesn't see what I was with clients waving a contract in my face saying Josh gave you the Green angel of death he's our second prototype he's not ready by the way wh where are your officers um, I'm no longer the mayor of New York right because you're a madman <laughs> what'd you say you're a madman the angel of death is on his way he's gonna be here any second You, you've outdone yourself. I can't even be mad at you. As soon as he's here, we're getting down to business. All newborns. And all newborns will be eliminated. Do you, you hear that? Foster! Hey, Kurt. 
Chris, have you lost your goddamn mind? You, you murdered Grace! No, I didn't murder anybody. I didn't murder anybody, okay? Okay, none of the sacrifice needs to be made. Let it be you, man. Let it be you. And if you're gonna shoot me, go ahead! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God damn it, man. God damn it, man. There's another sacrifice. You're going down. You. I sacrificed you everything. You didn't sacrifice anything. Nothing. You lost your God damn This is how you repay me? You lost your mind, and I lost my daughter. Your daughter? Oh, is this about your daughter? You're jealous of my daughter? Wait, this is about Patricia? Patricia, Patricia, you have no right. Don't ever say her name. You have no right. Yes, yes, yes. She's gone. She's gone. Hey, but you having yours, you having yours, bring her to work, talk to me all the time. Because you're my friend! Friend, friend! When the time to sacrifice our pain, when I came, it came, I had to pull the trigger. I pulled it because you me. And now, you're going to join her. Chris? Chris! Where are you going? deal with one minority, you deal with all of us. I raised my family here. I own Dali down the block. I am a New Yorker, and I accept everyone. You come out to one of us, you come out to all of us. You destroy the spirit. Part of New York. How dare, how dare you go against me? Against the will of my daughter. Kill them, kill them, kill them all! Kill every last Living soul in this city, Angel, Patricia is dead. <laughs> it's time for you to kill every beating heart that you feel in this city. Kill every last one and we will rebuild it from scratch. Is this it? What? Dragon, the weapon of God. Forster, your time has come. You took, you took Patricia and my mirror of death. I took two, I took two of your most important lives as well. <laughs> the question, the question, <laughs> the question is, which one are you avenging now? Miles? Or Grace? What did you say? You didn't know. You're not bummer. Bummer, I killed your girlfriend. No way. I'll go easy on yourself, kid. Go easy. 
sacrifice is Stop needed to be with made. Me, Chris. Needed. There was no, there, there was no way, Chris. Is, you can't beat me. Okay. I, I am the savior. I am the savior of this city, and you, you still think you're a hero? <laughs> you, you think you're a hero? You, you're a villain. <laughs> you will die. You will die. Actually, you will not die. I will make you suffer. I want you alive to feel it, okay? I want you alive to feel it. <laughs> I will destroy you piece by piece, you hear that? I will kill you piece by piece. I turn back to I want you to feel it. No! <laughs> what was his name? What was his name? What was her name? <laughs> what was her let your boy just lose your mind. Why could you do it to Gray? Why you did this to Gray? Why you did this to Gray? Why? Why you did this to Gray? Miles Gray is different my everything. I never had a family. They accepted me for what I was. They accepted me for who I was. I never had a family before. They gave me a family. That's why they were for me. And you just took it away from me. You let your blindness destroy you. Is that what you make her proud? To see her dad killing innocent. Is that what will make her proud? Your daughter. Why? Why Grace? Why you had to do it to Grace? Why you had to do this to Grace? You did do nothing. She was my baby. My heart! I wake up every day! Every day I wake up. Is that what your daughter would want? Her dad to be killing people? Is that what would make her proud? That's, that's, that's what you're doing now. Don't you see? People, people do. They wake up. They wake up. And they don't look in the mirror. They just stretch. They do when cops, they go after African Americans <coughs> too. You give them reasons to act. You always give them reasons. Sometimes it's just your just your damn attitude. You, you have African Americans to go against cops bullshit. because you keep bullshit. You keep profiling bullshit. them. Bullshit. You keep profiling them. Are you so just kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you gonna play the victim card for the rest of your life? The rest of your goddamn life is one cop. You think somebody made a mistake? And then you, you just say, no, they're all bad. All cops are bad. And your father, he tortured you. He tortured you. How bad could that be? Because you're here. You're here. Okay? And that doesn't make all that bad. Me, I was a great, I was a great father to Patricia. Do you hear me? Don't forget me. The, act the actions of you dictate our perceptions of everyone. My daughter was killed, Dragon. I died a long time ago. My heart was taken from me that day.
Lord. So this is where we part ways. What are you gonna do, Jay? What I'm meant to do. God put me on this earth for a reason, and it's to protect the people that are less fortunate. The city needs a hero, and I'm going to be the superhero. And you, Chris? What are you gonna do? I don't know. I fought for justice my entire life, and it took everything from me my family. I have nothing left. Nobody. Jay, but a drink's are gone and the black odor's over. I don't have anything left. I'm sorry for that. Thank you. So, will you fight for justice or injustice? I'm a superhero. I'm going to fight against whoever is evil or goes against this fortune. Good luck, Jay. Thanks. Good luck, Jay. Thank you. I may need partners. I may need a son. I may need a brother. I may need a family. Grace may have been taken from me, but she brought me you, who I'd be glad to call a son. I'd be glad to call you my father. I always dream of having a father. I have nothing left to lose. No longer a member of law enforcement. I'm on your team, Dragon. Me too. Thanks. Let's protect this city. Now, before we start, you guys need something very important. Oh yeah? What's that? Powers. <laughs> Nick <laughs> Nicknames. <laughs> Seriously? Every superhero has one, including me. Yeah, but is that necessary for us? You never watched or read a comic book, S-Man? I'm an adult. <laughs> Listen, imagine I'm a villain. And I just saw you with both superheroes just landing in front of me. I'm going to ask myself, who are you? So before we start, question. What are your superhero names? Right. The Foster's not the mayor anymore. They think they can get away with whatever they want. It's not going to happen on my watch. I fight for justice. I'm going to lock them all up. Over. Where are you off to so fast? I got I to gotta see my son, please. I, I, you I just commit a crime? No, no, sir, I did it. I did it. Please. What do you got in your pocket? No, got, no, got a gun? No, Get him no, the ground! No, no. <laughs> your son? You're full of shit. I right, committed a fucking crime. We're going to call these next few seconds self-defense. I don't agree. Me neither. How can I agree to that? Is this guy a fool? Probably. He needs a lesson. Who said that? My name is Dragon, the weapon of God. 
My name is Faith. My name is Justice. God, it's you. The city has been talking about you from left to right. If you scare me, just a bunch of outlaws I'd be happy to bring to where you belong. In jail. May faith, justice, and the dragon have mercy. Thank you.